Hello all. We are here to talk about the introductory part of the molecular spectroscopy course, chemistry 434 and 404, University of Lagos, chemistry department. We have done this topic in class, but I would just like to quickly go through it and um, go through other topics as well. So without wasting too much time, let's do a little bit of the introduction on uh, molecular spectroscopy. The general outline of the course, we're going through the um, introduction, obviously, like I just mentioned, we'll talk about microwave spectroscopy, that's um, talking about rotation of molecules, vibrational spectroscopy, under which we'll talk about IR and Raman, then there's electronic spectroscopy, magnetic resonance, and then mass power spectroscopy. Now, what is spectroscopy? <coughs> spectroscopy, spectroscopy. That's the study of uh, interaction with uh, matter and uh, radiation. Anytime matter interacts with radiation and we can analyze the results, then we say we are um, doing spectroscopy. How does matter interact with matter? Um, how does matter, sorry, interact with radiation? It can absorb, and then we look at what um, the frequencies that have been absorbed, or we look at uh, what the matter emits after its interaction, and the matter can also scatter radiation, which is very, very common in nature. <clears throat> the reason why we study um, molecular spectroscopy there's atomic spectroscopy and it boils down to the same principle we study spectroscopy so that we can know the various energy levels in the molecule or in an atom other than that you can use it to identify the amount of compounds present you can use it to identify the exact nature of compound present in a sample so it is useful in all areas of science and technology and there are still recent technologies based on techno um, spectroscopy if you go to the hospital and you see an x-ray um, room that is spectroscopy <coughs> all the um, ultrasound that is spectroscopy so it's not just um something that we're studying simply because we want to study i don't want to waste too much time on this what is radiation radiation or electromagnetic radiation in itself radi uh, radiation is energy electromagnetic radiation is um, a self-propagating wave you can have it in vacuum electromagnetic wave can travel in vacuum that is in the absent with the absence of nothing and it can also travel in matter which is actually what leads to what um, we are studying <coughs> radiation in itself is energy transmitted through space and you can have it as electromagnetic radiation and you can also have it as a, a particle radiation Electromagnetic radiation is pure energy, not particle, and it is formed by a moving charge. It has electrical and magnetic components. The electric component is given classically by this equation. Magnetic component is as given as well. So we see that it's dependent on frequency this is a frequency in rads per second, and then this is a frequency in just uh, per second. There's a relationship between the two frequencies. The E naught and B naught are amplitude, which is the maximum um, amount of the electric field, maximum intensity that can be obtained. The electromagnetic radiation travels at a constant speed of light, which we are conversant with. It has a direction of travel and its magnetic and electric components are perpendicular to each other, also perpendicular to the direction of the travel. It's represented here. So um, the 
this is the the green one represents the electric field the purple one represents the magnetic component so there's some other things here wavelengths that's the distance between that's two which is really the distance of one full cycle and frequency is the number of cycle it completes uh, in a second now this component this things the frequency and wavelength are the key things that we talk about in spectroscopy so quantum mechanically like i said electromagnetic acts like packets of energy that means electromagnetic radiation as uh, it, it it has like it has small particles in it but it's not particle it's pure energy and each um, pocket of energy is called um, a photon the energy is related remember we said that the frequency and wavelength are important the energy is related to the frequency by this formula h um, nu h is Planck's constant and since uh, the frequency and wavelength multiply to give you together gives you the speed so we can relate the energy to that as well energy to wavelengths using that formula all this is a familiar uh, concepts another unit that we use is the wave numbers wave numbers we have that formula that's one over lambda that's one over uh, the wavelength so we can relate energy to the frequency to the wavelength and to the wave number so this is an example that uh, converts uh, the two frequencies that we have together very straightforward just use the conversion formula and we arrive at that answer another example given here the yellow light given up by sodium vapor lamp used in public lighting all all forms of light that we see around they are emitted at certain frequency even electricity are passed on at certain frequency so the question is to calculate the frequency given the wave length energy and wave number of that uh, radiation we add some several equations before that related all this together so we can easily calculate that <coughs> So we have the wavelength given and we know that there's a relationship between wavelength and speed and um, frequency so simply we calculate the frequency the wave number can also be calculated the reciprocal of the wavelength the energy can any of the formulas can be used to calculate the energy given as uh, that one other important concept of uh, the electromagnetic radiation is the fact that it's divided up into different sections this division we call it electromagnetic spectrum a spectrum in itself if you look that up is an array of entities is an arrangement of any entity based on certain property in this case the electromagnetic um, spectrum is arranged according to their wavelength or frequency or in another case the energy so we see we go all the way from a frequency of uh, three times 19 all the way to a frequency of about three times nine we look at the other range now so what led to this um, division of the electromagnetic radiation remember all electro all forms of electromagnetic radiation travel at the speed of light but with very frequency so once the frequency increases the wavelength decreases there's a relationship between the two of them so the spectrum the electromagnetic spectrum is divided based on how it in with matter how it interacts with matter so for example in the radio region you have excitations of uh, nuclear 
spin energy level. So when we say excitation to the nuclear spin, maybe if you add an extra magnetic field, the two nuclear spin states uh, of different energy, and you can have excitations between that. In the UV region, you have excitation of electrons. In the visible regions where humans can see, you also have excitations of uh, electrons. We have stronger excitation in the UV region. In the IR region, that's vibration of bonds. In the microwave region, a rotation of bonds. So this is what we have in the different energy levels. So in the next video, we will talk about the molecular energy levels. So we will do these videos in small batches like that. So see you in the next video.